of us before we go to uh, here? Yeah? Um, can I just add something? I think, uh, you know, the thing is that oftentimes when it comes to religion, uh, there is this uh, default position that people are religious and they want an Islamist government and a state. And I think the reality is very different. Um, yes, because no society is homogenous. We know that. I mean, is, is the Netherlands homogenous? Everybody agrees with each other? No. Um, it, it's especially the case in totalitarian states and dictatorships in countries where there are huge human rights violations and no freedom of expression. Um, so I think, yes, there are sections of the population who are religious. But you can be religious and not want an Islamic state. I think that's key for us to understand. Uh, in the same way that you can be a Christian, but you don't want to have your uh, divorce uh, decided by an ecclesiastic court. Well, you're not going to get any rights. You're not going to get child custody. Uh, domestic violence is going to be excused as they are in Sharia courts. So we, we, I think it's important that we separate these things. I, I think um, there is also because Islam has devastated, has destroyed so many lives. Uh, in Iran, for example, 70% of the population is under 30. Uh, but they are at the forefront of an anti-Islamic backlash. Just a few weeks ago, a hashtag uh, in Farsi, Ridambe Islam, uh, I shit on Islam. That trended on Persian Twitter for several days. Yeah, I know you, you know, in Europe you would call it Islamophobic, but this is the wrath of people who have lived in an Islamic state for 40 years. So what I want to say is that, yes, even if people are religious, uh, not necessarily what Erdogan might want for Turkey when people get that. There's, and, and, and also, there's a huge secular opposition in Turkey. There's a huge secular opposition in Iran, in Algeria, in Morocco. So, you know, when the far right talks about the clash of civilizations between a civilized West and a barbaric East, I think there is a clash, but the clash is between the theocrats in Europe in, in the Middle East and North Africa, and the Democrats, and the secularists. I think secularism is key for our people, for people everywhere. Because religion, when it has power, it destroys lives. I always say, you know, religion has to come with a health warning. It kills, it destroys, it humiliates, and particularly women, it does that too. Thank you.